Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a story time video, but first I had to show you my new shirt, Slayer. Pretty awesome. Yes, if you love the band Slayer. We also got our daughter a shirt. Um, she wanted the band Ghost, so we got her that shirt, and I'm actually going to insert the picture so you could see it right here. Isn't she cute? Okay, a few years back when I found out I was pregnant with my first daughter, my husband and I, we were living in Mountain View in the Bay, in the Bay Area because um, I was working in Palo Alto. And so we decided it would be best if we moved over the hill, as they called it, to Santa Cruz, um, just because that's where his family and his brother and his brother's family was living, his parents. So we just needed it to be a little bit easier because we were both working and we were about to have a child. So we moved over the hill. Um, you know, everything was great. We actually found a really awesome house. It was four blocks from the beach, so it was really fun, especially after I had um, my first daughter. We were able to go on walks all the time along the beach every day. And So with my old job back when I was in Santa Cruz, I used to work. So I lived in Santa Cruz, and I would have to drive over Highway 17 to Palo Alto every day. So my commute every day um, round trip was probably about four hours. I know. Try making that when you're nine months pregnant. That sucked. Um, so yeah, it was roughly about an hour and a half to get to work in two and a half hours to get home. So it was a long commute. I was usually gone from like six in the morning till probably about seven, seven thirty in the evening, which was tough, especially, you know, having our daughter and everything. It was sad for me to leave. But anyways, that's a whole nother story. I keep getting off track. So, okay. So this happened on a Friday because I had Friday, Saturday, Sunday off of work, which was great. And um, so my husband was at work that day and I was home with my daughter and she was probably about two at the time. And I noticed that a car parked out in front of our house and I was like, oh, that's whatever. You know, we were used to it because we lived four blocks from the beach. So people always parked in front of our house and then would walk down to the beach, which sucked, but you can't do anything about it. So it's the streets, public property. So so they, um, so these people parked in front of our car and I was like, oh, okay, they're parked there because they're talking or whatever. So I just, you know, me, I'm a busybody, I guess. And I just kept looking out the window just to kind of see what they're doing. Cause you know, when I was, you know, home alone with our daughter, sometimes I would get scared just because Santa Cruz is great as everyone thinks it is to vacation and everything. There are some cray crays out there. So, and Santa Cruz has a very big meth epidemic going on right now. So there's even more crazies. <laughs> um, so anyways, um, so then I kept, you know, just kind of looking out the window. Um, and I was upstairs because when you're in a beach community, most of the homes are bedrooms on the bottom floor. And then the kitchen and living room and everything is on the upper floor. And then the, um, the big patio and stuff or balcony or whatever they call it. So I was upstairs in the living room and I just kept like looking out the window just to see what they were doing. Cause I was getting a little suspicious cause I had heard some things from other neighbors. So I just kept looking. Then I noticed I looked out the window again and they were both in the back seat of the car and I about flipped my lid. I'm all for, you know, getting a little nooner in or whatever. Um, I'm not a prude or anything like that, but don't be getting no nooner out in front of my house, especially when I have children. So I kept watching and watching and then I noticed that they started kissing and I was like oh my god I know what they're doing it's what everybody had been saying is true this must be the couple they're talking about they start going at it and I don't mean just like making out I mean they were going at it doing it I was so ticked off that my daughter could have looked out the window at any time and seen this going on so I turned on the TV for her sat her in front of it gave her a little snack I grabbed my air horn, very, very loud air horn that you can hear miles away. And I went downstairs and out the front door and to their car where they had a window open in the back where they were. I stuck my air horn in there and I let them have it. I didn't even have to say anything. I scared the crap out of them. The man jumped into the front seat, turned on the car and took off 
before I even could get a word in edgewise, I because I I was screaming at them, but I I don't really remember right now what I was saying. I think I all the adrenaline and everything. I was probably telling them get the f off my property and <laughs> and let's just say they never came back. And that air horn was loud. So moral of the story: don't be coming up on my property trying to have sex. Okay, that did not sound good. <laughs> That did not sound right. Don't be parking in front of my property trying to have sex with somebody in your car. Just don't do it. One, that's gross. Two, there could be children around. Nobody wants to see that. So go somewhere else. So anyways, that's my story. I do have lots more stories from our time living. We lived in Santa Cruz for... On, on and off for 10 years, because we, we first lived in Soquel Village um, back in the early 2000s, and then we um, ended up moving to Mountain View, which is in the Bay Area, for a few years, and then we moved back over the hill to Santa Cruz to live in Aptos Village. So I will probably have lots and lots of stories to share with you guys. So hopefully you like these videos. If you do um, and you want to hear more, give me a thumbs up and subscribe below and I will definitely um, if you guys enjoy these I will make more and let you know of all the crazy things that happened in Santa Cruz because Santa Cruz is a different kind of place so all right I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you later bye